your opinion on molecular testing in patients without stage four disease? Um, like molecular testing in a patient who has tumor removed, um, you know, what tests should we be doing for those patients? And, you know, should we be doing any testing for those patients? Yeah, I, um, I think that's a, a really important question. Um, my personal belief is that we should be testing all lung cancer specimens for um, mutations. And part of my reasoning behind that is that we know even patients with early stage lung cancer, the, there's a significantly high likelihood of recurrent disease of, of the cancer coming back. And, um, and we now also have an FDA approval for osimertinib for early stage resected patients with EGFR mutations. Um, and uh, so these patients could be offered osimertinib as part of their adjuvant therapy. And you're not going to know whether or not they have an EGFR mutation unless you actually test their tumor um, for that. And, um, and I, my personal belief is that we should be testing all of our patients, early stage and late stage. And it only kind of adds to the information that we have. And, you know, when and if patients progress or recur, you have this data already available rather than sending it at the time of disease recurrence or progression. We know that, you know, we didn't really talk about the turnaround time. I mean, it's gone down over the years, but it's still two to three weeks um, for us to get results back. And it's really nice to just have that data um, when we're seeing a patient in clinic and having to, you know, think about what the next line of therapy is. So I personally believe that we should be getting it um, on, all, on all of our patients, though, you know, getting it covered by insurance is an issue sometimes, getting your pathology colleagues to agree to send it because it is extra work for them. Um, I think those are important considerations. Um, but I, I just, I think uh, more and more, we're going to see some of these, um, you know, drugs being used in the earlier stage setting. And I, and I think that, you know, again, um, we, we really need to have that information if we're even gonna consider um, offering targeted therapies in, in, in the earlier stage. Yeah, and it's, I think the main issues, I um, personally currently just send for the EGFR mutation because that's the only FDA approved drug they have for the early stage disease. And my issues are mainly insurance issues because, um, you know, I know VA is lucky in that way. You you, you have things covered. Um, exactly. Yeah, outside is a little bit more difficult and out-of-pocket cost for those molecular testings could be pretty hefty, hectic. And then, therefore, at this point, outside of the clinical trial, I do have a clinical trial, though, um, that will allow me to test the patients with early-stage disease and then they assign different targeted therapies um, based on the um, study. So the trial is about to open at my site. So uh, once it's um, open, I definitely will be testing um, everybody, but um, it's kind of right now, it's, uh, I, I don't um, just because um, I just, yeah, um, because we don't have any, any improved drugs. But I think what we're gonna do in the future, honestly, I believe we're gonna be testing everybody because um, if osimertinib got, got approved in early stage disease, I think it's very likely um, that ALK will get approved um, and, you know, maybe other rare mutations will get approved as well. Agreed, yeah.